Hello there and welcome on Bob Proctor. Over the next few minutes, if you will listen really carefully, take everything I'm saying very serious and test what I'm suggesting, I guarantee you this could change your life like that and to an enormous degree. It can change almost everything in your life. First of all, let's stop and think about who we are and what we are. We are a mass of energy and a very high speed of vibration. We have awesome power. We've got power beyond the scope of our imagination. Now, as long as we're living in a physical body and corresponding with the material world, we're gonna use our senses. We can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. Do you know, I've got a little dog that can see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. Now, it's been pointed out to us by some pretty respectable authorities that you and I are the only creature on the planet that's totally disoriented in our environment. All the other little creatures are completely at home in their environment. The birds and the bees and the squirrels and the trees, they all blend in. They're completely at home in our, their environment. You and I are totally disoriented in our environment and that is because we have been given the mental faculties to create our own environment. Now think of that for a moment. We can create our own environment. In other words, we don't have to settle for what we see around us. We can change it. Now, if we're going to create our own environment and live the way we really want to live, we're gonna to have to use our higher faculties. We're gonna to have to begin to think we just can't move along at a snail's pace, doing the same thing every day, day in, day out. We're gonna to have to understand, what are these higher faculties? You see, we have perception, the will, reason, imagination, memory, intuition. These are all higher faculties. I wanna to talk to you about perception. Perception is how you see something. It's your way of looking at something. You change the way you look at something and it'll change completely. Now let me explain how I do this. I learned this, by the way, from Earl Nightingale. This one thing I'm gonna show you right now. If I have a particular problem or a challenge, I will take it and I'll write it on a piece of paper. And I'll put the paper in the center of a table and I'll sit back and look at it. And then I'll ask myself, is that challenge or that problem in me or is it on the paper? Now, as long as it's in me, I'm going to have difficulty with it. So I've got to work to get it on the paper. You'll say, well, that's silly. Is it? Try it. Find out how silly it is. And when I get it on the paper, then I look at it. And I really try and understand it. Then I may go sit on the other side of the table and I'll look at it and I'll attempt to get into Earl Nightingale's energy and I'll say, how would he look at this? How would Earl perceive this particular situation? And I'll start to get ideas in my mind and I'll go and look at it from somebody else's perspective. I may ask someone to share their perspective of it. You see, when you change the way you look at something, it changes. Our good friend Wayne Dyer gave us that. He said, when you change the way you look at a thing, the thing you look at changes. Why? Because we have perception. We've got the ability to change how we see things. Peggy McCall one day phoned me and she said, we were just talking on the phone. And in idle conversation, when we finished the point we were talking on, she said that she and Denny were looking at a home, but it was a million more than they wanted to pay. Just, I said right back to her, make the million look small. Do you know, it was only a couple of hours later, I got an email from her with a book cover, make a million look small. That's changing your perception of something. A couple of days later, she phoned me. She said, why don't we get Mary Morrissey, Gay Hendricks, yourself and myself, and we will run a seminar, make a million look small. And we did, and we made a million. We 
change the way we look at things. What are you having your biggest problem with today? Look at it from a totally different point of view. Now, you see, you're conditioned to see it from the way you're looking at it. You've got to change that bang just like that change it. Because you can. You can look at it from a totally different perspective. Your mind is very, very fluid. It'll only be rigid if you keep it rigid. Change the way you're looking at it. That's what perception's all about. Think of when you have a big problem and you go and you share it with someone wiser than yourself, and all of a sudden like that, you may not even have a problem. What did they do? They looked at it from how they saw it. They could see that isn't a big problem. They explained something to you, and all of a sudden the problem went away. There's just a situation there just to be looked after. See, perception is a mental faculty. Now, I told you, you have reason, the will, imagination, memory, intuition, and perception. These are all higher faculties. As you start to shift your perception of something, it changes totally. Change your perception or your way of looking at how you earn your money. Could you earn more? Could you earn more with less effort? Could you earn more without working? Could you earn money when you're sleeping? Now this is causing you to look at what you're doing from a different perspective. Do you know what the truth is? You can earn more money when you're sleeping than you can spend when you're awake. <laughs> Sounds wild, doesn't it? But it's true. You see, all things are possible. We've just got to start to look at them a different way. And when we do, our whole world starts to change. Perception. How do you see what you see? Change it. Understand this. It's not rigid. It's as fluid as the air. You have to use your perception to look at everything you're looking at from a totally different point of view. That's how we've created the world we've got today. Somebody changed how they looked at lighting and they come in and lit our studio up properly. Somebody changed the way we look at recording and they built better microphone. Look at this for a moment. Here's a little box. I want you to look at it. Little box. This was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, the great architect. I saw it sitting in a store one day and I said, isn't that interesting? And I picked it up and looked at it. I thought, I wonder if it opens. It not only opens, but it's got a nice clock in it. And I have this on my desk and I can close it if I want. I can open it and I see the time. I just see, you just change your perception of this box when I open it. I change mine when I open it. And I thought, I like that, and I gave it to myself as a gift. Matt, who's working with me today, said, how long you had that? I said, 20 years. How do you look at what you're capable of doing? How do you look at your life? How do you look at your business? How do you look at your inability to earn money? Start to shift the way you see things. That's what perception's all about. Don't look at life the same way every day. Try and upgrade your view. Look at it from a different point of view. Raise yourself, look down at it, look up at it, look sideways at it. Understand this, it's as you see it, that's the way it is for you. Perception, change it. Check us out at ProctorGallagherInstitute.com for tips, tools, and resources.